The Melilla method is a unique treatment approach, developmental neurological conditions at any age. Um, the unique principles that really underlie it really take into account the idea of looking at the development of the brain from the bottom up and then from the top down, and at the same time looking at integration of the two hemispheres as they develop. What we often see as the foundational issue in many developmental issues is really the fact that there are retained primitive reflexes that affect this bottom up, top down development, and at the same time there is an imbalance or a maturation imbalance in the development of the two hemispheres preventing their integration. We also find that increasing core stability and strength is important. So we're using a unique combination of different sensory type of stimulation along with cognitive and nutritional based interventions to be able to help promote the proper development of the brain from the bottom up and integration of the hemispheres. We are, it, it varies from patient to patient depending on level and age, but the override principles is that and that's what makes the Melilla method unique and effective. The Melilla method addresses any sort of developmental neurological issue at any age. Uh, most common diagnoses are things like ADHD, OCD, tics, Tourette's, autism spectrum disorders, bipolar, schizophrenia, even vestibular imbalances, so symptoms of things like vertigo, dizziness, balance issues, learning disability, processing issues. But our main focus here in our center is really dealing with the most severe and challenging conditions, especially non-speaking autism. We do also work with some genetic issues or brain injury, but our focus is really working with what we call functional developmental imbalances where there is no clear-cut damage or injury, but there is severe symptoms and deficit. There is research supporting the uh, Melilla method and, on, and the approach. We have some research that goes back, outcomes research that goes back about 10 years. But of the last four years, we've been doing a number of studies looking at the relationship between primitive reflexes and hemispheric integration in autism in particular. We have published in this year alone approximately five papers in top journals looking at some of that research. Over the next half of this year, we have approximately three or four more papers at least coming out looking at the experimental data. So this is a randomized age match controlled double blind study that has been never done before looking at primitive reflexes in autism and all of that research will be coming out this year and beyond. How long it takes to see changes in the Melilla method really varies from patient to patient. But typically, if we're doing an intensive, usually within the first week to two, we see significant changes. Obviously, we see changes over the course of time as we're working with patients, but usually those changes start with someone feeling their body, connecting to their body, first improved muscle tone, improved spatial perception. Sometimes we even see changes in speech, cognition early on, but generally we see a significant amount of changes in all areas over the course of several months to a year. The Melilla method addresses developmental neurological issues at any age. We work with children and adults. We work with all ages. We have infants that we can work on only a few months of age. We also have people that may be in their 70s or 80s that we work with. As long as it's a developmental issue, it is something that we can focus on and we can help. The Melilla method can be used in conjunction with other therapies. Many of the people that we see are on some form of medication, doing occupational therapy, physical therapy, hyperbaric oxygen, diet and nutrition. Uh, we're a holistic treatment approach where we look at every aspect of the patient and we can work with all of those areas, but we're also happy to work with other therapists, physicians, school systems. What we find though is that the approach we have is very specific. We try to achieve balance in the nervous system and between the brain and the hemispheres. And some other therapies might address that in a different way or maybe interfere, but for the most part, we find that we can work alongside other therapies without any issues.
The Melilla method is designed to be a specific standalone type of treatment program. We develop treatment programs unique. Everybody is different. Every patient gets a unique program. But in all of the programs, they're designed to have a beginning, middle, and end. They do not go on indefinitely. There are specific goals that we set from the very beginning with the patients or with the parents. We're usually pretty good at sticking to those goals. And of course, it really depends on the patient and how they respond. I think the Malola Method is the most effective treatment program out there. Again, not only do we have research to support this, but we have many, many patients that we work with, and there are many different stories every day and every week of children and patients that we work with from around the world. Just recently, we had a patient who started one year ago with us, and he had a number of different behavioral and emotional issues. He was diagnosed as being severely dyslexic, and he was struggling in school um, emotionally. He was very oppositional at home. We did a number of tests on him functionally and showed that he was reading at approximately second grade level even though he was in sixth grade. The reading comprehension was slightly higher. We tested him at six months and he was reading at four years, four months. His reading comprehension was at fifth grade. And then when we retested him after one year, he was going into eighth grade, but he was reading at a 10th grade six month level and he is comprehending at a ninth grade level so he went from reading word reading at a second grade fifth month level to a tenth grade six month level in one year so the idea that someone with dyslexia or a learning disability or with severe behavioral issues can't change significantly we prove that wrong every day using objective functional measurement I've been teaching a fellowship training program in the Melilla Method for over two decades. We have a number of people around the world that are certified in my method. When they are fully certified, we do make recommendations and we have a list of those people that can be found on my website, drrobertmelillo.com. So you can go to that website and see if you have a uh, certified Melilla Method practitioner in your area.